Hi. Hello. <laughs> Valentine's Day is around the corner. Some of you might say that it's a very commercial holiday, nope. but I'll take any chance I get to celebrate love in its every shape or form. So, shall we begin? Today, we'll be talking about compassionate leadership and how to reignite your passion for your work. Welcome back to the TM Recruiting, where we share insightful and thought-provoking content that can help you shape your recruiting career. Let's check out the first article I picked. In Arthur's words, compassion is the basis of all morality. Compassion means co-suffering. It means you empathize with others and their issues, you love and care for them, and you selflessly help them when they're in need. We've read how to foster compassion at work through compassionate leadership. What did we learn? Compassionate leadership leads to less stress, higher job satisfaction, more loyalty and dedication, stronger employee engagement. How do you incorporate it? Here's a checklist. Self-compassion. You know what? I love myself. Even though I look like a burnt chicken nugget, I still love myself. You can use positive affirmations like, I am great. I am worth it. Encourage open and clear communication. Listen with neutrality and patience. When appropriate and when you have consent, gentle physical touch can help. For instance, a little pat on the shoulder. Constantly support and cheer others for their hard work and their achievements. Initiate, provide personal support, exchange feedback, express your opinion. And be thoughtful. The way your words impact your colleagues, your subordinates, and even your clients should always be your main concern. Now let's check out the second piece of content. Just like for older romantic couples, passion can fade in your professional life too. We've read the Harvard Business Review article, Reawakening Your Passion for Work. And this is what we learned. So if that happens that your passion for your work fades, what can you do? Don't panic. It's a very common problem. And these are the steps that this Harvard Business Review article advises us to take in that case. Take some time off. Ever heard of sabbaticals? These let you reassess your career or devote more time to your personal life so that you can find your balance again. Find a program, a coach, or create a reflective structure. And by that, what do we mean? Regularly cutting time and space for self-reflection and examination. Or you could join a group of peers. For instance, if you're a CEO, that would be a CEO group. And you could benefit from it by receiving informed and honest feedback. Find new meaning in familiar territory. Changing your professional direction is a major move. Some people are glad with smaller adjustments. Adjustments that lead to a better alignment between what they do and their values and beliefs. So figure out what you can change, do it, and then deal with the system. On to the candy crash. Candy crash. Candy Crush may be more like Candy Crush. Oh, this is love. We always say that the more barbaric your treatment of candidates, the more demonic the reviews on your Glassdoor page. But does it always have to go wrong? No. And if today's theme is love in its every form, how could I possibly ignore the most purest of them all? The love a parent has for their children. You might remember coming across this Carly Bush post. During a video interview with a candidate, the job applicant's baby woke up and crawled under the chair. Instead of ignoring it, Carly decided to acknowledge the situation and she invited the young mother she was talking to to tend to the baby. The simple act of kindness broke the internet. Maybe it didn't break the internet, it broke LinkedIn, okay? Among the comments, one person said, When I was job hunting, I was interviewed by two companies one day apart. One company offered me an attractive salary and asked me if I'm going to have kids hanging off my arm when we have video meetings. The other company offered me a salary that was a touch lower than the first and smiled when they got a glimpse of my baby when she woke up mid-interview and they told me I can tend to her if needed. Guess which company I chose? 
in a world where you can be anything, be kind and understanding. I hope this made your heart a little warm. Got something to say about this? Drop a comment in the section below. We'd love to pick your brains. Help us get better at helping you get better with your help. As you know, you can get access to these episodes 48 hours before anyone else and more amazing content on top of that by subscribing to our newsletter. You can find it linked below or at start.com slash newsletter. Thank you for watching the team recruiting. Take care and see you soon.